In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get started by showing you some of the most basic features in CamelK. I'm going to use OpenShift as the platform and then create a namespace called Basic. Also installing the CamelK operator. The CamelK operator helps developers to manage application lifecycle by automatically building and deploying applications and also setting up any other resource needed on top of the Kubernetes platform. The demo allows developers to incrementally update their running pod on the cluster with their updated code without redeploying or packaging their applications every single time. Go ahead and then do a git clone to the example repository, download it to your local machine, and then open up your developer tools and in this case, we're going to use Visual Studio Code to have a better experience. It's basically an extension in VS Code. So right-click on the README didact, it's going to render the instructions for you. And then you can also use this to check if you have everything installed for this particular example. And if you're seeing something red, that is okay. You can check what's wrong and then fix the problem. And in this case, we just haven't logged into OpenShift yet. So there's two ways you can log into OpenShift. You can also do that through the console on the right-hand corner. You can obtain a um, your tokens, and then you can copy this particular command and then paste it in the console. So I'm going back to the Visual Studio Code terminal and then paste the command in the terminal. And this way, it's gonna log your machine to the cluster that you're pointing to. Or you can also use the extensions in VS Code to do that. If you don't know how to do that, you can always check my previous uh, videos that shows you how to do it. So in this case, I can see everything in my cluster in VS Code. So once we've done the login, we're all green. We're gonna start by creating a new project or namespace in the cluster. So let's go ahead and then execute the OC new project command. And then you'll be, you should be able to see that project created in your cluster. This is a completely blank namespace. So we need to install the operator by executing CamelK install. The console, you should be able to see the CamelK operator already installed in that namespace. And this CamelK operator is going to take care of the build package, resource management on the OpenShift cluster for you or, or Kubernetes cluster. So once you check everything is in installed, we can go ahead and then write our first CamelK application. If you locate the basic.java in the working directory, we're gonna define a very simple camel route. So we're gonna start by typing in a timer component with a period of 1000 millisecond, which is exactly as one second, and we're gonna do a loop. And then also setting a variable with Java as constant, and then also setting it to write a very simple hello world message, and then just log that message. Once we're done with writing the camel route, we are going to execute it by right click onto the files and then start a CamelK application with the dev mode. So it is going to send this code directly into the cluster and packages everything and deploy it onto my cluster. On the left hand explorer, you will see the status of this particular integration and see if it's in the running state. And also in the terminal, you can start seeing the log feeds back and see it's starting to print the hello world message back. And if you go back to the console, you can actually see that actual code, piece of code running in the cloud and containerized. So if, you, if we quickly make a change to the constant variable to Java 11, and you can see that the, in your terminal, it is going to restart the camel applications and gets repackaged and resend to the cloud. And on the cloud, it is going to update with the latest Java 11 log. So there you have it, the very basic example. And then we can remove the, the camel integration by right click onto the left hand explorer. Next, I'm going to show you how to apply configurations and routing using CamelK. In this case, the developer will push both of the code and the property file to the operator. The CamelK operator will then take the input from the developer and turn them into Kubernetes resource and deploy them accordingly. And locate the routing Java file. 
It contains a camera route that uses configuration property to control the display of your routing result. Now let's link the property file with the integration using the command line. Camel K operator is going to detect the property file and turn it into a config map. I'm going to make a change to this property file by adding another item in the list and assign it to a property queue, a priority queue. CamelK will notice there's an update in your local copy. So it's going to take this updated copy and then send it off to your cluster and update your cluster. Once it's redeployed with the updated content, you can see now the log is printing out the latest item that I have just added it. Now, if you go onto the console, you can also see that the same thing is running in the cloud. And if you go to the config map, you will see that CamelK has helped me to turn the property file into a config map. And we're going to stop this integration by right click on the integration and then remove that integration. Last but not least, we are going to convert this simple routing integration into a cron job on top of OpenShift. Camel K operator will automatically detect any cron job behavior in your camel route and then create a cron job resource if it sees one. Go back to the working directory and then this time we're going to turn the routing application into a cron job. So we're going to update the repeating reoccurrence into 60 seconds. The reason why we're doing this is because OpenShift only accept cron job that's more than one minute. And then we're going to execute the camo route again without the dev mode. And this is going to create a cron job for you on top of OpenShift cluster because camo K operator detects that you have a, a similar behavior to a cron job. So it's going to create that resource for you on top of OpenShift. So instead of you creating all this gigantic document on defining how the job is running, you can simply just write a very simple camo route with the language or DSL that you already know, and the operator is going to do all that setup for you. And if you take a look at the, the running part, you can see the behavior of this part is it's going to start up running and then execute whatever is needed and then shuts it down afterwards. In summary, I have shown you how CamelK can help developer for quicker iteration during development time with faster feedback using the dev mode, as well as showing how CamelK can help you to turn your configuration properties into Kubernetes config map resource or secret resource, as well as showing that CamelK has the ability to detect any periodic timer based integration and turn it into a Kubernetes built in Chrome job.